everyone, I'm bringing to you my rope basket and I was inspired by this, by the boho style and I wanted to bring this basket that I put together some time ago for a challenge and I promised I would come back and give you a tutorial about how I put that together. Okay, so my inspiration was this ginger jar but I want to show you that you can use anything that you want to get this accomplished. Okay, these are the items that I'll be using and working with, the supplies I'll be working with. And okay, let's get started. Now, after you choose your item that you want to make this rope basket out of, um, like I told you, I, I decided to use my ginger jar. And you want to take oil and oil down either your glass or your ceramic piece or any the item that you want to actually construct your rope basket with. You want to oil that down with any um, vegetable oil, Vaseline, it's up to you and then apply your plastic once you have applied your plastic over your complete the whole item that you're going to use to construct your rope basket now you're going to set that aside and you're going to start putting together your bottom or base of your basket now i just show you right there let me bring it back here i'm showing you how i usually get it started how I start my bottom or my core at the bottom so that I can construct my base. After I measure the bottom of the uh, vase, I start actually filling in the core. Now this is what you see me doing is using that jute core to go on top. Once I get my size, then I'm going to the side top of it and I'm going to start spiraling that one up. To, as you can see here this is what I'm achieving once I get my measurement of the bottom of the vase ceramic jar then I start spiraling up to start forming the shape of my basket now this is the way I decided that I'm going to design my basket by using two different coils and this one would be the jute and then you will see the macrame cord coming up and this is how I continue to to wrap my basket to get the form of the ginger jar Okay, now the next one I'm showing you where, I, where I'm starting to stop. Now, let me explain to you here. When you're doing, uh, using a form to form your basket, you want to go to the widest point of that item that you're going to use to stop because if you go beyond that and it goes back in, you're going to have a hard time taking your object out so make sure if you go to the widest point of your vase or object that you're going to use to form your basket and stop there this is where you're going to continue as a second piece as you can see here okay so let's go over this again if your vase is similar to this here this ginger jar here or whatever object that you use 
you go to the you can t- continue if you want to continue this way if you want to leave the object or the vase inside but if you want to remove it you have to stop at this point your widest point and continue on a second piece you're going to eventually cut this piece off and connect the two together so when you decide to use your form as one to have a wide and then a K back in or goes back in as this ginger jar does you need to uh, have a two-part system that you're working with I continue to wrap after separating wrap for the second part into the very end of the jar the very top so really you can look at it as a top and bottom piece now at this point you're going to separate um, the two pieces together and what I mean by that is you want to take the top part off but I usually leave a little attachment of the plastic there and you'll see why at the end so you begin ready to score around with the knife and then we're going to take the scissors and separate the two as you see here so this have been separated the two pieces have been separated and you're going to see me actually separate that piece pull it apart you can see exactly how we're going to do this. Carefully pull it apart from the top. Now this is coming off easily because we remember at the very beginning we all the vase or the ginger jar and it makes it glide off so much easy. This part, the top part comes off easy but the bottom part you're going to have to wrestle a little with it okay so i just want to know that even though this is out like this it wasn't that easy but it did come off i'm going to make sure you have time enough to do this and take your time and work your jar out okay commercial break if you're with me this far take the time and subscribe now for the finale and the reveal from this to this. What do you think? I think it turned out pretty good. In fact, I think it turned out great. If you want to see how I did my lid, I do have a video on that that I had before this. So just go back and I'll have the link down at at the bottom and these are some of my coastal design creations that I put together and if you haven't seen that video I will attach that also I hope you enjoy seeing me bring it all together comment down below and let me know don't forget to come back and see how I style my ginger jar boho baskets and if you're not a subscriber come and join my family here on my channel with more DIYs and home decor to come see you next time stay safe and be blessed